How you doing guys? Welcome back to the channel on another video. This video is going to be totally different than any video I've ever done. I've got a 36 by 48 canvas, so it's the biggest canvas I've ever painted on in my life. Today is going to be a large traveling open cut pour with a twist. It's also going to be a double open cut pour. The colors we're using are phthalo blue, dioxazine purple, cerulean blue, some flow acrylic black, and that is also the same color that I've painted around the edges of the canvas, and Amsterdam titanium white. So we're kind of going to try to get like a galaxy effect in here, but I can't even talk about it anymore. So let's just get down here, let's start painting, and let's have a great time. All right. Well, I hope everybody's having a wonderful day, and let's just get this started. I'm way too excited and caffeinated right now to take too much time. So we're going to lay out two spots. As you can see, I'm not going to be able to use my spinner, so that's going to be different. But interesting nonetheless. I need a little bit more over here. Huh? All right. We got a ton of black mixed just to help the composition slide. Oh, this is exciting right here. Okay. So there's no min wax in these colors, but there is um, silicone. So it's the same OGX coconut oil hair serum that I typically use. Yeah. Man, this is a giant canvas, so I'm kind of hoping I'm not playing chase the cups around again. But it might happen. I'm hoping it don't. I'm letting the colors churn. I don't have nearly as much white or black to pour in here, so I'm trying to keep keep a conservative amount of that. But this is exciting because I'm already seeing the colors move. Oh, no, that one's sliding towards the middle. I should have known that would probably happen just because it's such a big canvas that the weight is gonna try to pull towards the center. Well, that one's making me a liar. It's going to the left as well. You're right, my love. Which is fine. I don't mind. The cell's already starting. <laughs> All right. Oh, I almost missed the cup. Did you see that? That was a close call. Calm down, Kelly, calm down. So it takes about 90 grams of paint to completely cover this canvas. So we're gonna, I did mix 90 grams of the black and about 90 grams of these other colors here. So we're kind of hoping that we have enough. Oh, we're definitely going to have enough of paint to cover it, but I kind of wish my spinner was big enough to where I could actually spin this out. So I'm changing up the color palette just a little bit. Like there was white was the last color in here. Black was the last color in the other one. Here, let's just see if that looks like Oh man, it's already coming up beautiful. Oh my goodness. There we go. Now we're staying more towards the middle. That is so cool looking. Let me take a little bit of black around these edges. Because I don't want all this to roll underneath. I want it to have plenty of space to continue to spread around. This is pretty already. 
I love what's happening over here. All right, well, we still got a huge black cup mixed up. So we're good, we are good. This one's starting to squish the cells. It's not what we're going for at all. Look at this thing, guys. This is pretty. Now, tilting this is gonna be a monster, but I'm excited to try it. Maybe too much black there. Let's add a little bit of white for a little bit of a gray scale look going. Just a little. Don't have too much white left, but we got a lot of this purple. Whole lot of this purple right here. Doxazine purple is such a beautiful color. I love this color. I know there's a bunch of y'all that also love this color. Man, would you look at what's going on with those cells? Won't lie, I'm a little intimidated when it's gonna come to the tilting portion. A little bit. See some dark blue. We're almost out of the dark blue, y'all. I mean, if we're honest. Oh, oh, I just dripped. That's cool. If I'm honest, there's a whole lot of paint already on the canvas, so. Should be plenty of paint to, to manipulate. the remainder of this cerulean blue out of the cup and into that cup. All right. A little spot of black that we'll use some of that purple. Just a little bit. It's not gonna churn through there. We'll create those beautiful little cells. So purple's next. Mmm. This is wicked looking, y'all. Really is. Alright. So not all the purple we're probably gonna get to. Let's get a little bit of white in there to kind of churn through that purple and black. It's such a small stream right now that it's not really churning. Whew. Okay, so it now it comes down to a little just release whatever paint is left in these cups. And then we're gonna try to do our little swipe. That one came out pretty good. Release that. Need some randomness in there. Oh my goodness, y'all. This looks crazy. All right, so now let's get that black on there so we can let this color give something to move on. Because that is important on a canvas this large. Now, like I said, it takes about 90 grams of paint. I have plenty of paint, I know I do on this surface. I just want to make sure that the paint has plenty of area to slide. All right. Well, 
it has come down to it. The tilt. Let's try to recenter some of that if we can. Now I'm gonna be doing this very slow. I don't wanna really mess this up, but I do wanna get most of this paint towards the center. Didn't have enough black paint on that side, so a little bit of that is gonna roll under. I need to grab my heat gun so I can pop any bubbles, activate any of that silicone that I can. I was too excited, I completely forgot I even needed this thing. There's a lot of bubbles in there. I wish I had a giant cake spinner at this moment, right now. I'm worried that some of the cells that were getting popping up are gonna be distorted, but that's why we're gonna try our best to not let that. So weird, normally I just set that over here on the table. <laughs> I can't do that with this. All right, so we went that way with it. So we need to come back towards the center a little bit. Hold on. There's a lot of weight on this canvas right now. All right, so let's bring some of this down towards that corner. Just a little, not too, too much. moving is not in the frame for y'all. We're trying to get this centered again so that we can go to the corner with it. So I'm go down towards that corner a little. And even if I need to mix some more black paint and leave a ton of negative space, I'll do that. But I really don't think we need to do that because there's so much paint on the canvas right now. Right. So, I'm trying to make it so y'all can see what's going on over here. This is coming out wicked though. I'm loving this. I think I might take this down to that bottom corner. Because there's still a ton of cells that are opening up. This is crazy. that way, so I'm gonna have to bring it this way first.
I have never painted something this big before. It's super exciting to watch it take shape. cells and whatnot back down just a little. Maybe open up that little spot of white that we got going on. Because it's got some pretty interesting lacing and stuff in it. I have no idea how this is going to dry. I'm hoping it dries pretty intense, but I have no idea. It looks wicked though. It really does. This is crazy. All right, let me see if we can get some out of the corner. I know we got plenty of paint. Paint should not be the problem here. All right, there's that corner. All right, let's set this down. Take a look at it. I might leave these two spots here as negative space. There's still plenty of paint over here. Yeah, I think I might. Because I don't want to disrupt all of this. That looks really cool. And then the cells that are there. So I'm probably just gonna pour some black paint here and meet it over here. And I might take a straw and blow into that black to create some pretty cool little whisk patterns. This is cool too. Goodness, this looks gorgeous. All right. I don't have any more black paint mixed, and I'm not gonna subject you guys to watching me do that. I'm gonna mix more black paint, fill in these areas here, and I will be back for our close-up. This was such an exciting pour. There was a few spots that I know I need to work on as far as Stretching the paint, not disrupting the cells too much. You can see some of that lacing up towards the top. I'm going to blow it out a little bit. But the cells that came out of this are just brilliant. I really couldn't even be happier with the results. just to get rid of that striking, stark line. But all in all, this thing came out pretty cool. If you want to watch another video just like this, click the screen right now and I'll see you there.